iOS is a great operating system. I personally love it. But there are certain simple things which it makes really difficult to do. For instance, setting a ringtone. Now, iTunes Store has a lot of them, but you'll have to pay for it. What if, if you want to set a ringtone without paying for it and without even using iTunes? Can you do that? Well, yes, you can. That's what we are going to show today in this video. This is Abhijit from Guiding Tech. Let's get started. Now this trick will certainly work with the songs and the audio files that are already on your iPhone. But if you are to download a new song, a new track, uh, you could probably receive it uh, on WhatsApp or download it on your browser. The important thing to note here is that you should save it on your iCloud drive. Once you do that, the next steps will follow. The way we are going to do it is by using the GarageBand app. First of all, open the app and then swipe to the audio recorder screen. Go ahead and tap on it and you will see the music interface. This is where the action will happen. Let's first disable the metronome icon, which is this triangular shaped icon on the top. Next, you will see an icon which looks like a brick wall. Let's go there. Now on the right, there is a loop shaped icon. This will be used to import the songs. You could import it either from iCloud Drive or from your iTunes. So you tap on it first and then go to audio files. One thing to note here is that the purchased songs won't show up here until you manually sync them with iTunes. Now let's go ahead and drag a song to the GarageBand interface from here. We are now on the audio trimming interface. This is where you can trim the song to create a ringtone. You need to first tap on it so that it's selected and then either from the right edge or the left edge, just drag it and select the portion of the song that you want to make as a ringtone. Hit on the play button at the top to make sure that you have selected the right portion. Right, now the ringtone is created. All you need to do is save it. On the top left, go to my songs and that's it. It saves it right then and there. The final step is to long tap on the song and then share it and set as a ringtone. Pretty simple. Give the ringtone a name and then Tap on the export link. You could now set this as the ringtone right from this interface or you could do it later from the ringtone settings. That's it. You just saved a few dollars worth of ringtone, uh, which is what it would have cost if you were to buy it from the iTunes store. So iOS users among you do tell us how this helped you. We would wait for your comments. If there is any other trick up your sleeve, do let us know about that as well. And this was Abhijit from Guiding Tech. Stay tuned for more such videos. Do subscribe to us and like this video. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.